Hi friends, welcome to Life Page. My name is Divya and uh, today I'm here to talk about Salesforce, which is the number one growing technology in the vast domain of cloud computing. Uh, but before everything else, I'd like to give you a little bit of introduction about myself. Um, I did my degree in dentistry and I graduated in year 2010, following which I worked in a dental institute, a college, as a lecturer for an year, um, and that was in India. After that, I left the country to go to UK, and um, I pursued cosmetic dentistry for a year um, in Reading in the UK. And then Salesforce is a technology um, which is reaching like new heights in cloud computing. And um, it is where the world is headed um, and the future looks really bright for anybody who invests themselves in cloud computing. It is what is taking IT uh, industry by storm. And earlier it used to be hardware, then it switched to software. And as of now, the rage, all the rage is about cloud computing. Um, cloud computing enables the users uh, and the users could be internal or external stakeholders as well as um, Salesforce professionals to just with the help of websites, like with the help of pure internet, just be able to do all of their work. So it is possible through cloud computing that you automate businesses as I have been doing um, for the past one year or so. Um, as a Salesforce admin, uh, the cert certification itself is called Admin 201. Uh, Salesforce certifications are not compulsory to work with Salesforce, but they are very advisable. And after the Admin 201 certification, I got my second certification, which was Salesforce App Builder. And um, a good Salesforce administrator would uh, have two to three certifications. And uh, once you have the initial knowledge uh, and experience working for a business or a nonprofit, say, um, at least in the context of London, the city that I work in, you can uh, easily make Salesforce a very lucrative career. Salesforce distributes its knowledge in the form of various services. First of all, um, it is a very technical field. So, however, having said that, um, approximately 50% of the professionals working in Salesforce today come from varied backgrounds. They could be from arts background, they could be from a medical background, they could be from all sorts of backgrounds. And um, if they intensify their uh, approach towards tackling Salesforce and try to grasp it to, um, to a great in, uh, intensity, then nothing can hold them back. And so I would just say that you need the right bent of mind, logical and analytical um, aptitude is really uh, highly desirable. First of all, um, I have found this to be one of the less stressful um, job options that I have gone for. And as you know, I have a diverse background in healthcare. And um, at the same time, um, I just feel that um, I haven't been this relaxed and this focused in a long time because this is the kind of job that requires you to just get into the office, get in front of your screen and crack on with your work without talking to almost anybody and you would you would feel that you have an autonomy and you would be able to cover more work with less talk. First of all, even though the pay scales are very good, uh, the beginning year or two years say um, would be a bit um, stressful in the sense that um, you would need to uh, get your foot in the door and that is not always straightforward. Some people recommend doing up to five certifications in order to get a permanent job. And that's always a good um, way to go forward. However, there are other ways you can uh, get your uh, foot through the door in the industry. And one of the ways is if you start working pro bono for charities, and these charities welcome hardworking Salesforce professionals because it is quite, a, uh, quite an important service that they provide and you would be valued for your time wherever you go.
I start my day at around seven o'clock when I get up and uh, immediately within say half an hour I'm out of the house and um, I board my train to London and I get there and um, first uh, you know change a few stops getting to the office and uh, when I get into the office there's always a lovely team there to greet and uh, you know gather around for some you know uh, motivational beginning of the day talks and uh, after that uh, we all retire to our desk spaces and uh, uh, firstly you know it's always a question of logging in to the instance and uh, I have my uh, login details preset by the organization which I use and uh, it's just uh, from then on so let's say from 9 o'clock or 9.30 onwards to uh, just uh, say lunchtime which is one o'clock doing uh, those kind of activities really build your confidence up and uh, so you have to keep updated with uh, the you know latest um, additions or uh, latest changes made to the existing instance and uh, that should be uh, something that you look forward to and that you make a part, you incorporate into your lifestyle because that's the only way that you can learn. So you, you need to be keen and eager to get to grips with this technology and uh, you sh should be able to take an extreme amount of interest in it, even be obsessed with it if required and then just, you know, things would come to you naturally.